Hello Maniacs, this is Hulkrex Maniac and welcome to Friday the 13th of the game. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at Bugsy, we're going to be looking at his stats, best perks and a few little tips along the way. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so Bugsy's stats are Composure is 4, Luck is 2, Repair is 1, Speed is 8, Stamina is 8, Stealth is 2 and Strength is 10. So let me start by saying that Bugsy is the best character to be fighting Jason by a mile. It's just that strength and you've got more chance of getting his mask off and not getting caught by Jason due to the fact of your speed and stamina. So he's just ideal. I actually had a lot of fun with this character for, for a good week on getting Jason's mask off and actually killing Jason, which I will be featuring in this video so stay tuned to to find out and now on with the perks okay so for my first perk to use as Bugsy it's going to be swift attacker now swift attacker it increases like the speed asshole. of your attacks on jason with any weapon now this is the perk that you're going to need to use if you're going to be fighting jason to get his mask off and it's just ideal for the situation you're going to be in, so you can just get a quick swing at Jason and then move out the way, and it's very effective. It does a lot of damage on him. And if, if, even if you do miss your attack, you can just quickly get out the way from him before he grabs hold of you. The only downside is it decreases your attack damage on Jason. Now, with obviously Bugsy being top of the uh, top of the strength list. This is this should really be a problem for Bugsy, and you should really get Jason's mask off quite quickly. Okay, so for my second perk to use as Bugsy is going to be Fixed Skinned. Now, Fixed Skinned is just taking less damage. Now, it's what you're going to need to use again against Jason, because at some point Jason will get mad and he will swing at you. And by the time he swings it, yeah, you'll be able to get a swing in on Jason and knock him to the ground. So just always be wary of that. And it's you mainly, if you have this perk on, depending on what percentage it is, you mainly get like an extra couple of hits before you start limping. So it's not too bad. Now the only downside is it increases your chances of stumbling. And that can be a little bit of a problem if you get scared. But... Bugsy's not really too bad. I've actually fought Jason before without being scared of him when I've been hitting him and quite a few people are around. You don't really get that scared. So it's not too bad. But always just be wary of if you're fighting Jason on your own. You will get scared really quickly. But if you're around other counsellors, you should be okay. So for my third perk to use as Bugsy is going to be Man at Arms. Now, Man at Arms is your dual ability on any weapon. And this is what you're going to need to use again to fight Jason, because you don't want your weapon to be breaking, especially if you've got like the baseball bat or the axe or whatever. You want to make sure that your weapon lasts as long as it does, because it's just going to help you out a lot on getting his mask off. The only downside is it lowers the chance of stunning Jason. Which isn't too bad really, it's not It's not super high, so you'll be able to, to actually get a good hit on Jason anyways with that strength, so it shouldn't really be too much of a problem, to be fair. So guys, I'm going to move on to a few little tips, and this will help you out a lot on fighting Jason and possibly surviving as well. Okay guys, so from the first tip, is going to be always fight Jason in a group, because if you fight Jason head on by yourself, and if Jason gets a lucky grabbing on you, that's it, game over. Then you're basically sitting around waiting, and it's not fun waiting around. It does get you a bit annoyed. I've done it many a times myself just to try it all out, and it's it's just not fun. It is literally just not fun, so always fight in a group, guys. So my next tip is going to be talk to your fellow counsellors. I know a lot of people don't like talking on this game, and they don't, but if you are talking and somebody's like, oh, do you want to kill Jason or whatever, just get them to do, like, flash the, the torch at them, and then some of the time they might flash back, and that means, like, that they're in. 
than wanting to give it a go. I've done it many times myself, where I've been flashing my light at somebody because they haven't been talking or whatever, and they flashed it back. That sort of means, yeah, yeah, we're, we're into. So, always trying to communicate the best that you can. It doesn't even mean by like voice, it just means you can go by using your, your torch. So, that always helps. Okay, guys, so for my next tip, and this one's important on killing Jason, is you have to be a sacrifice. Now, I know it sounds silly, but once you get Jason's mask off and you phone Tommy, just basically let Jason do his thing and just let him kill you, basically. I know it sounds silly, but there is a good reason for it. Due to the fact that if you die, you've got 100% chance on coming back as Tommy. And obviously Tommy's the main person that you need to kill Jason. So, in this video, I actually had somebody who had already got the sweater and was basically just waiting for me to come back as Tommy. We were hoping. And then it actually does happen that I actually do come back as Tommy. And then I just have to meet up and then give it our best shot. So for my next tip guys is, is this, do not be afraid of Jason. You are in the position now on killing Jason and Jason does not want, the person who is going to be playing as Jason does not want to be killed. I am telling you now, they do not want to be killed because it is a little bit embarrassing if you do. And I'll be, I'll be honest, I have been killed a couple of times as Jason and you know, so there is some good players out there. It happens to the best of us, so don't worry too much about it. Um, as we see now, is I'm running up to Vanessa, and she drops me the axe, which I need to kill Jason. So, and then she picks up the gun, which we need. And then we basically just go looking for for Jason, really. And as soon as he gets into that eye line for the for the uh, sweater, and then that's when the business starts, and that's how we get Jason. And remember that you are Tommy, you are the best character on the game, so there's just no need to be afraid of Jason. Somebody is at least going to hit Jason if you're out or working together, so don't be afraid to go right in there if you need to hit him or anything like that, but just make sure that you just stand back, wait for Vanessa to do her thing, and then that's when we come into play. So I hope you enjoyed the little clip. Jason, mother is talking to you. Put the weapon oh, down chicken shit. and come oh, to you mommy. Pussy. That's my good boy. That's my Jason. Right guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope this video has helped you out a lot. And... Oh, like I always say in these little videos that the perks that you have on do not always make you survive all the time. It's just to help you out. If you do have any ideas on perks to use as Bugsy, let me know in the comments below. I do read them and I will reply back to you and I will try them out next time I'm on a live stream. And if you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. It does help me out a lot and I do appreciate it a lot. I've got a lot more content on the channel as well of counsellors and live streams of this game. I've got a few other little bits and bobs on there as well. And I will be making a few more videos on how to kill Jason and driving and etc. Because I really have enjoyed making these videos and they have been very popular on the channel. And I do appreciate everybody watching them and commenting and liking. I just appreciate it a lot. Thank you so, so, so much. So, without further ado, this is Hulk Rex Maniac. Over and out.